because how you could have a number, but officially they announced. It means, uh, let's say, 20% of people have a mental problem because of the pressure. When you don't have freedom of expression, you suppress. And suppress comes out by depression, by anxiety, by personal disorder, and, you know, one out of 100 goes for Commit, committing suicide. The, you know, the alcohol, the alcohol is forbidden. But in all Iranian homes, you will find alcohol more than West because of depression and because of reaction to government. If you say forbidden, they use it. If you say love is forbidden, people goes for several affairs at the same time. Sometimes for doing reaction to the power, even in unhealthy way. This is the unfortunately face of my country that has two faces. One face like Arabi Saudi, covered in the street, but one face like Los Angeles people inside of the house. It's two face to fight with the you know the power. Um, I think this film is uh, also a love story, uh, sometimes uh, even more than... You know, this is the first love story after the revolution. Before this, we didn't have. Uh -huh. It was forbidden. Uh, love story is forbidden in Iran? Yeah, on that moment. Nowadays, it's full of love stories. <laughs> but it's like sheep, you know. When they say, stop, you cannot do this. You need one go to jump from the river, then other sheep follow them. It is the first goal jumping. Then after that, we had more. But um, it shows the um, the status of women uh, in Iran at that time, and uh, how um, they have to live under the pressure of, of men. Actually, uh, yeah. in, in Iran, it, it is related to the culture, not politics. You know, in Iran also about censorship. We have different censorship. Censorship related to the politics. It's benefit of the power man. Censorship related to the culture, related to religion. And censorship related to the culture, related to the people's culture, not all the... For example, Iranian parents don't kiss each other in front of their children. So in cinema, we don't kiss each other, not only because of censorship, also because of sort of shame that exists in our culture. Secretly, we do many bad things, but kissing each other is forbidden in front of the people. So, when the lady is talking about manpower, is serious. Nowadays, it's less, because we have big female movement in Iran. And you saw, for example, in Green Movement in 2009, Three million came to the street. Majority of them were young female. They, we have big female movement in Iran. They are fighting for their right. Not in front of government only, also in front of the manpower. Look at today Iranian um, government. For example, during two past weeks, there is a big issue. The president wants to choose three female as a minister. Supreme Leader reject. It's very difficult uh, you have in a high level job of government female. But in university we have a lot of young female director. In cinema we have a lot of female director. In journalism we have a lot of female journalists. So Iranian women are strong because they fight in their history with two power, government and manpower. So they have two big hands. So your daughter, Samira, is also a very well-known uh, female director. <laughs> yes. You know, I'm so feminist because only in my family there are three female directors, my wife and two of my daughter. Uh, so in my house, you know, I'm weak, <laughs> I'm strong. 
but in society still man has power not like before but still uh, the man power is exist all rule support man power for example if you are women you want to have passport without permission of your father if you don't get married and without permission of your husband if you get married impossible you have passport if your husband say to government i don't want my wife my wife goes out they cancel your journey if uh, someone kills someone court needs four men to say yes we saw he killed that one but if you are women they don't accept you because women is half man you should be eight person to be equal with four men you know it's comic but it is in Iran also you cannot ask for divorce the divorce is man right when you get married you are like prisoner of your husband except your husband uh, is crazy man or has for example AIDS or SIDA or you know the prisoner for more than five years it is the rule that supports man right also for religion activity for example uh, you don't have right to do leadership of religious activity you couldn't be president in Iran you don't have right but at the other side you see that strong movement by young female that we have hope for the future like your film 10 years later we should wait to 10 years later to see what would happen <laughs> um, after this film is banned in uh, Iran how did how did you um, continue to make films because you have been making films all your life and you have not stopped even if there are uh, difficulties or, or even um, uh, many attacks are on you. <laughs> so how did you continue to make you films? You know, some film I made out of Iran because they didn't let me to make easily film in Iran. For example, I made film in Turkey, I made film in Tajikistan, like Sex and Philosophy and the Silence. I made film in Afghanistan, I made film in Pakistan, you know, the one way was making film outside of Iran. Uh, the other thing was, all in Iran, politics is not the same. For example, eight years of Khatami, Mr. Khatami, who was president, he was much better than Ahmadinejad time. We have supreme leader, the main dictator is supreme leader, but under his hand, we have a president. After he pre-select, we vote. Some of them are better than the other one. In the Khatami time, we had better uh, freedom. So I made film on that time. But when Ahmadinejad became president, we left country. I left 13 years ago. I went to Afghanistan, then to Tajikistan, then <coughs> Paris, then London, you know. It's, Refugee for cinema. Okay, um, I think I've asked enough, and I'll um, let uh, the people in the audience will ask the questions, and I'll uh, take questions if you raise your hands. Okay, and uh, we'll have a microphone for you. And um, the first one is in front. Hi, um, I'm wondering if you could comment on uh, your vision or your understanding of what cinematic truth is for you, in general? Cinematic truth is what is It's very classical. I think uh, cinema is tools. You know, cinema is not uh, goal and has no truth. It's sort of uh, glasses on our view. You know, as I can see you, but with this class I can see you better. Uh, cinema is extend of overview. Depends on who you are. And your cinema related to your point of view. 
Cinema itself has no any meaning. Even this universe for me has no any meaning. But human being needs meaning. That's why we create meaning for our life. In cinema, you will see different uh, angles. Uh, there is a Iranian poem which says that the truth was mirror in God's hands. Fall down that mirror and broken. Each one took a piece of that mirror and looked at himself and thought, oh, truth is in my hand. But we know that the truths were in hands of everyone. I think cinema is that mirror. For example, who can say cinema is only Tarkovsky's movie or uh, Chaplin's movie or Fellini's movie? They are different, different philosophy, different point of view of life. But what is for me? For me, cinema is love of creation, personally, and also responsibility for human beings this, on this planet. I don't make film to make film, to make fame, to make money. I make film and I put my life on danger, like filmmaker without border, to put light on darkness, to visible, invisible thing, actually to change something in the society. When you see poverty, how you could sleep easily at night? You say, oh, I'm not hungry. It's not my business. No, I'm, it's my business. For example, when I go to Israel, I'm thinking about peace. Whenever I go, I think if I was here, what was the concept of my film? You know, I can say human beings problem or sometimes social issue problem but it's better to say human being because some of my film is more philosophical or in poetic way and in, in Iranian cinema we have different style generally we have the same style but each one of us has different style only me I have few different style for example if you look at to my film Gabbe, which I made beside of the moment of innocence, they are completely different style. But the main core and source is responsibility for human being and his life on this planet. But it is not like, you know, the other people should do this. It is my point of view. Thank you. Okay, and I'll take another question. It's over there. Um, thanks for the uh, fascinating talk and film. Um, I mean, since you've been mentioning something about gender politics and the whole idea of um, you know you being um, a feminist, I mean, I've seen also other Iranian directors like um, Fahadi has also made film um, more subtly about gender politics in. Uh, in Iran. I'm wondering how would you identify yourself in Iranian cinema amongst your peers like Fadi um, and other Iranian directors really in, in terms of gender politics. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean obviously after seeing this film and the other film that you directed called The Cyclist it's, it's obviously more politically uh, committed I mean in terms of gender politics so I'm wondering you know, how would you identify yourself you know, in this Actually, um, uh, yeah. yeah, in the cinema, Iranian uh, cinema. Actually, we have a uh, different generation in Iranian cinema. Uh, me, Amir Naderi, Kiyar Ustami, uh, and few others. Somehow, Kiyar Ustami was started before revolution, but main his work uh, is from after revolution. Somehow, we funded this new wave. But after us, we have different generation. For example, my daughter Samira or Panahi, they are next generation. Parhadi is, you know, the third generation. Uh, we are different generation and in different time. Uh, at the beginning of the revolution, we didn't have cinema because by revolution, Iranian cinema finished. Even two years before 
revolution Iranian cinema died because Hollywood arrived two years before revolution we produce 70 films in Iran per year when Hollywood arrived zero movie per year when happened revolution people attacked to cinema burn cinema because of West culture that they were against too and after revolution for few years we didn't have cinema then we started to have quantity then quality feel uh, our period was more difficult because we should broke a lot of taboo now something is easier for example you can make love story in Iran on that moment was completely forbidden or somehow you can talk uh, in politic way easier than few years after revolution that we had war and you couldn't criticize war because it was holy war for them so but in this time also some of us are more dangerous for politics for example me I cannot fly from the Iranian sky they can bring the airplane down to arrest me we have filmmakers that they are in prison but we have filmmakers that they are free to make film and we have filmmakers that they are inside of Iran in prison or out of prison but they can